Oh, welcome back Planet Coaster friends and here we are we are back already with a new series of Planet Coaster obviously we can't leave the house at the moment so in not being able to leave the house we want to share and we are certainly uh, playing more games in our downtime period in between work so here we are here we are we've had to quickly come up with a new uh, concept which we want to do and we are going with islands so the theme park is simply going to be called islands and we are going to separate and spread uh, the kind of areas of the theme park into different venture islands. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put some a lake in the middle and it's going to span out a bit like a bit. And although, of course, you will be able to walk from area to area, we'll have some bridges across. We're going to have a monorail, which we're going to build very, very shortly, which will take you to each area. So we're probably looking five, five areas, including this entrance area here. Uh, train, train and monorail. Mm, train's got to go up. I think we'll probably... Yeah, I think we're probably going to go for a monorail and it can be raised off the ground naturally and, and kind of make its way around. So yeah, you know, I always say when we do these Planet Coaster videos that I'm going to start with the entrance next time. Um, because I always forget about the entrance and I get back to the entrance and I've kind of a little bit lost the will to build and then I kind of realise I haven't got enough space because I've built everything so closely. Uh, and yeah, I always say I'm going to start with the entrance. Well. Yeah, we're not going to start with <laughs> we're not going to start with the entrance this time either. However, where we have built this kind of island area, as you can see, it's quite a unique sort of looking. It's not just round with um, you know exactly the same style over the other sides, um, so everything is identical. It has got a little bit of shape to it. So this entrance area here, where we're coming in, we're going to make it um, going to make it nice and blue. To be honest, there's no real like overall theme to this park. We've kind of gone for the um, Alpine sort of delicious look if you will to make it look really really uh, nice in the background kind of make it look like a forestry sort of park and yeah you know I think the blue works quite nicely before going over into our first area and I think this, this entrance area we will build hotels we will have some hotels here at some point we will obviously have a big food sort of area um, I, I tell you what one thing I really hate I hate the pathing system I hate the pathing system it's not any better as well on planet Planet Zoo, it's exactly the same. You kind of add and then delete and it, it yeah, kind of builds in. Um, so yeah, we're going to have some hotels at the start. Uh, I'm not really sure what theme we're going to go on in honesty for the hotels. I'll have to have a little think about the theme. Um, I would imagine we'll go for sort of, you know, the Alpine sort of look, uh, contemporary, old English, uh, maybe Norwegian sort of style. But we'll see, we'll see. It's something to think about. But I have at least left space for it this time which is something I don't normally do and it normally kind of gets built around the areas that have always been built so yeah we will come back to the entrance area you know we're not in any rush to do this park uh, we're sort of doing it live as well usually when we've done parks in the past we have done them to the point where they are actually complete by the time we release them um, this one won't be this one will be in uh, you know much more um, sort of live setting if you will because you know of everything going on in fact we can't uh, really leave the house apart from work we are kind of building as we go which makes this a great opportunity to get involved here on UK theme parks and our planet coaster build now then we do have some ideas we do have some ideas as we go around the park however we do want to take suggestions we really do this first sort of area we're coming to is just sort of be you know we're using a bit of the adventure and a bit of the world's fair pack uh, which were two expansions that came out after the game um, was released and we're going to kind of go for a nice little village set in here this will be kind of your entrance area with some shops um, it's going to have some seating as well and you know a little bit more um, themed certainly than what we normally do to be fair we do normally like to do it fairly uh, quickly but again when we're not in a rush we are going to kind of push ourselves we're not master builders sadly by any means how much i'd love to be a master builder i just can't I just can't do it but we are going to make um, as much as we can out of this and certainly try and fill in all the gaps as we go and of course buildings are a great way of doing that whilst they do take up quite a lot of memory the buildings particularly if you go really really gung-ho on the amount of detail you can add we really want to kind of set the scene on this and this is one of the um, scenes which we want you to enter into this wonderful village area from here we're going to move down into sort of an Egyptian area and we're going to bring out um, the snakes and we're going to bring out the rock work and we're going to really um, you know in enclose the rides a little bit more again add a little bit of scenery to them and try and add a bit of theming now in this area alone what we really like to do is fit in two coasters we're going to fit in two coasters 
um, probably two flat rides as well. We kind of got an idea of what we want to do. And then we have the monorail uh, kind of going through the middle, if you will, which we had a drop guess in and out of the area. Now we don't have the name for the area yet. So given in mind what I've just told you and how you see this develop over the next couple of episodes, particularly this episode, um, let us know what you think the area could be called. Now, of course, there are a few things we are desperate to do on this, and one of them is to build an RMC. We haven't really built any RMCs in our previous parks. Um, we've had uh, some wooden ones, we've had a lot of hyper ones, we've had inverted ones. So we are gonna build an RMC. We're not gonna do what uh, everyone sort of wants necessarily and build a massive 300 foot Iron Guardi RMC. We kind of want to keep the rides a little bit smaller, but maybe um, you know, have some pace to them as well as have some key elements. And particularly with this, we want to try and hit you know a good second airtime, which is the plan. So we're going to take our time here, and again, we've got kind of an idea. As you walk down to this RMC area, this will be sort of Egyptian style. So I think what we'll be doing here is we'll be building a pyramid, believe it or not, underneath this um, roll here. And that's kind of the way I want to set the scene as you walk into the um, ancient Egypt sort of area from the village. As you then go around, we'll, we'll go into a different area, but hopefully it will blend really, really nicely together uh, with certain trees and some terrain changing as well. And you know, it is quite good with an area like this that you can use the terrain that's there and you can add in sort of, you know, rock work as well without actually using uh, many pieces. To as the pieces do contribute heavy to the graphic using of the game. And as I said, we've got a reasonably good PC and we are running it without uh, too many problems. But you know, as the park fills up, we wanna make sure that we can get on and off the rise properly and give you some really good views of what we've done. So yeah, we wanna use the train tool where possible. It doesn't use the pieces, but of course we wanna add in some pieces and a pyramid is not gonna be an easy thing to build. So this RMC here, it's gonna be more of a ground hugger. We're gonna have sort of, you know, a roughly 100 foot drop. Um, it's gonna go into an overbank turn, which will go around um, the kind of, uh, around, a, around a hill, around a mountain sort of area. And there'll be a little dip underneath. And I think underneath as well, what I've kind of planned is I wanna you know, what a homage to Ramesses Revenge. I'm not even gonna lie to you here or sugarcoat it or pretend it's gonna be anything different. I'm absolutely gutted that Chesington World of Adventures have closed Ramesses Revenge, um, regardless of, uh, you know, its age or anything like that. So yeah, you know, I want a, a top spin in there and we're gonna add a little bit of historic theme in as well. But as you can see, this RMC isn't going to be massive. So we are looking at quite a large drop. We're then looking at a mini airtime hill. We're then gonna have the turnaround point from the turnaround point, we're gonna quickly sharp um, to the other side. So we're gonna go from left to right, back to left again. Another little mini airtime hill before heading down into an inline twist with a couple of, uh, you know, kind of helixes before, again, a little dip before the finish. This particular ride will run a couple of trains as well. We're not going for the free, it's quite a short one. Now we're gonna come back to this building. We thought we'd better slip a ride in now, so make sure we get a ride built in this episode. And then you are, we're gonna come back and finish some of this building. This building, this is gonna be the first thing you see when you enter. As I said, this is gonna be kind of um, the shops, this is gonna be eateries, this is gonna have the ability to sit outside and sort of relax, if you will, before heading into the main theme park. And it doesn't matter which way you go, we're gonna have a little bit of scenery um, as you go right or left into the theme park. Certainly before you get to any of the big hitting rides, which is uh, you know fairly similar in most theme parks to be fair. There aren't many theme parks you can walk straight into and there'll be a massive ride in front of you. I know people will come straight out with Cedar Point, which obviously has um, uh, the gatekeeper going over the gate, but we're not going down that route. We want to make more of a secluded sort of theme park. Um, so yeah, we are going to add some uh, nice theming in here. We're going to get this bit done, get this building sorted. Um, and we are also going to do lighting as we go. Something we, again, have been guilty of in the past is completely forgetting about the fact the park needs to be lit. And we will this time be showing you the park at night, which isn't always something we've done in the past. So lighting is going to be really, really important to us. And that includes on the rides as well. When we get the rides up and running, we want to make sure that if we need some special effects, we'll have some special effects so you're not completely riding it in the dark. Obviously, there will be times where, um, you know, riding kind of through uh, either forests, if we have forests or mountains and things might be the case that we don't have lights on it. Time for some nice scenery in this area. Now we want to picnic benches in. Um, really annoyingly actually, and I do mean genuinely annoyingly. 
Um, the Adventure World Fair pack um, doesn't have any canopy, so we're going to have to use sort of a more generic canopy, which fortunately fits fairly well. Um, I know there's no real weather elements in this game. It's something I really love about Planet Zoo. Uh, if you haven't followed our Planet Zoo series, that will also um, be continuing very, very shortly here on UK Theme Parks. But yeah, the Planet Zoo, as is, you know, the, when I've come back to play this one after playing Planet Zoo so much, there's a real noticeable difference in the graphics. There's a noticeable difference in um, the way the game behaves and how you do things, particularly the weather effects, the guests. It just looks so much better in this, and I thought this thing looks incredible. Now, we haven't actually had any new packs for this for a while, so I do think they're probably not only focusing on the console version, but we may may well get a Planet Coaster 2 before we get anything else new for this, which will and be a bit of a shame, because Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 went for years and years and years with uh, uh, you know developers and everyone adding bits to it. Now then, as you can see here, we're going to have some nice hanging lights going across. Um, so literally, we'll just copy these lights and we can then kind of spread them out as we want them. And they'll be sort of every few meters and it should span the length of this building. So this will be nice and bright when you walk in. This will be sort of a hub area where people can um, relax and come in before moving down to the next bit. As you can see, we are really making an effort with the lights on this one. We really want to make sure that we do this as we go and don't go back and add it in. And this goes the same with the bins as well. You can see us putting the bins in as well as the benches to ensure that we kind of get this right as we go because it's so annoying and I get angry with myself as well that I keep coming back and I keep coming back to sort of add um, things in that I really should have done as we went. So yeah, the idea of this is we kind of add it as a go and although we may jump from ride back to this, from ride back to this, we want to get an area completed and I mean completely completed before we move on to the next area. Um, and of course, you know, if you guys come up with some suggestions in the meantime and we have moved on to the next area, we will come back and revisit it without a doubt. Now one thing we will have to do, we will put timestamps in for when we're doing different areas. So you can skip to the best bits if you want. If you don't want to see the scenery building, you just want to see the ride building, you will be able to do so. So we are going to leave you now for a couple of minutes while we finish off this building. We'll be back shortly. left to do around the entrance area to this uh, particular land if you will um, but we are now going to move on as well because we will do a lot of that off camera because we don't want to watch us put loads and loads of fences in we're going to move on to the monorail station and the reason we're going to move on to the monorail station first is i do again it's, i've always been guilty of when i've built monorails or transport systems to just not theme the stations and they just end up with like little paths and things so I want to get this kind of incorporated fairly early before we start building around it. And it's not going to be, you know, the insides, I will say now, the insides I don't tend to do very well. Um, again, mainly because you can't see it. I like to 
Where's that on this flipping path? There we go. I, I like it so you can, um, you know, see on the outside and when you pan over the park it looks really, really good. And although we will ride the monorail and you will go in and out of the stations, I don't want to make it as, you know, massively detailed as perhaps we do a dark ride or something like that where we go on the inside. However, we do want to theme it in for part of the area and, you know, with this world sort of fair area, you know, wooden uh, sort of cladding which you see is what we're going to have and it's going to be fairly random. We do want to make it look a little bit different to what we normally do or indeed the conform. And, you know, this isn't really based on anything. I know a lot of people that build the parks base, base it on, uh, you know, other things they've seen. I think the only thing that we will perhaps be uh, basing you know, some of the rides on will definitely be the Ramesses Revenge sort of style. I don't think we'll call it that, unless you guys think we should call it that. I don't think we will call it that, but I do want a sort of a homage to that ride because I'm really going to miss that. Um, and indeed a decent top spin slash a top spin in the UK uh, from 2020. Fingers crossed we can get another one further down the line somewhere. But other than that, you know, we want to kind of keep it as original as we possibly can whilst maybe having... You know, so many great theme parks around the world that we're going to get to a point where something does look like something, even if I mean it to or not. And, you know, buildings like this, I think, are going to be fairly unique in the way we do them. So, yeah, the monorail station now is kind of a, a key focus to get this in. And we probably want to put a flat ride in as well before this episode is out to kind of squeeze it in to the left of this. I haven't quite decided yet. I'll have a little look through the list and see what we've got. And moving away from the monorail station there, you can see we've done uh, quite a lot of trees. And whilst we'd like to keep the trees kind of, um, you know, in line with what we uh, what we want for the area, uh, ultimately we are a theme park and we will keep some like that, but it is important to get some uh, de decent sort of foliage in there to hide away some of the... Um, you know some of the elements and keep it really really enclosed so yeah some fencing done some trees done monorail station is also done and you can see we've just added our first flat ride to the area which is going to be an enterprise a classic classic enterprise we're going to stick that sort of right there um, we've had it so it's going to face the path as it rises as well um, you know that's again important that people will be able to see it as they walk past it but again we will hopefully have some um, uh, trees and some scenery around that kind of nice and enclosed but we just want to go the kind of spacing right and I think the spacing is just right between that and the next attraction and now of course with the right gaps we can fill in and continue the theme in here so what do you think then our park has started islands has started we've got an RMC we've got an enterprise um, as we complete some of the work here we do want a name for both of those rides leave them in the comments below we would love you to get involved in this one I know it's not always the most popular thing on the channel planet coaster but there's not a lot else to view at the moment so join us for the ride thank you for watching this episode we will see you next time